Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I was out and about in the world yesterday and it was so mind blowing. A couple of people recognized me and they're like, you're the one that does the videos. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, the good morning, good morning. That's me. Hi, Sam Mystic, uh, Romy Rome, and La Megan. Good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, welcome to Coffee Break with Terrible by Laura Gonzalez. My name is Laura Gonzalez. And hi, Terry, welcome. The Coffee Break today, I'm going to be reading with the Oldie Boy Goodie. The writer Y. Smith, because why not? There it is, the writer Y. Smith. And we're going to have oracles as well. We're going to have the Don Miguel Reese for agreements. We haven't done this in a while. And once again, I'm going to utilize the Yuletide Tarot by dear friend Christopher Hughes as an oracle. By the way, Christopher Hughes is going to be on my show tonight. It's going to be um, talking about the Yuletide Tarot. He's going to be talking about his book on uh, Druidry. And he's going to be talking about Mexico and Day of the Dead and a trip that he took over there. And it's, it's a great show, so I hope you can follow um on Lunatic Mondays, Christopher Hughes tonight. And um, there's also going to be a video version on YouTube. So for all my YouTube friends, is going to premiere tonight at 8 p.m. Central. So with that said, <clears throat> let me do the tarot card reading for today. The tarot for the week. Today is Monday. Hello, marvelously, Marisa. So today is Monday. Let's see what the writer Wise Smith has for us this Monday. And I'm going to pull two cards. All right. Let's see what the message is for us for today. Tan ta tan, tan ta tan ta tan. We have the moon reverse. The moon that is all about intuition, cosmic intuition, um, kind of like knowing our place in the world and being at the same time reverse and in introspection. And in this case, the moon is reverse and is prompting us to speak up speak out, call in, don't call out, and kind of like speak our truth and be open to have communication. That's number one. Number two, we have yet again a number five. This is the five of wands. Oh, <laughs> hi, Siri. Siri is excited because she's catching this videos live and hi Janet welcome 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 so the five of the five of ones is about having a plain field in which people as equals speak with each other or solve a problem or come up with a solution or come up with a creative outcome a creative way to find a solution you know it's, it's kind of like a conflict resolution hmm. conflict resolution card um <clears throat> excuse me most people that i know that read tarot interpret it as conflict period they stop there i see it as conflict resolution creativity, people cooperating with each other to fix the thing, to come up with a creative solution, to create something new, to move forward, 
etc. And the combination of the two cards is kind of telling, you know, like, um, try to find a solution and speak up, you know. And finding the solution and speaking up doesn't mean, again, I this uh, subject has been coming last week and this week. Conflict resolution, forgiveness, speaking out, calling in instead of calling out, etc., doesn't mean you have to have the person back into your life. I, if I said this once, I've said it a million times. Forgiving people and speaking with people and coming to a resolution of the conflict doesn't mean you get them back into your life. It sounds like a cliche because I've said the phrase many times. They are forgiven not because they deserve forgiveness, but because you deserve freedom. While you carry a grudge you are being um, held back by that garage. You are being chained back, enslaved by your own anger. So when you forgive them, when you speak, you have a resolution, that does, do you have some closure? That doesn't mean you have the person back in your life. It just means you have some closure. There's a resolution and then you can love them from a distance. And I know it's hard. And, and even to say the words, I'm like, people are going to think I'm harsh AF. It's not that. It's that you learn to like, yeah, I love you from a distance. And that's fine. Because while I'm holding a grudge, I'm held back by it. So anyway, that is the reading for the week. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look like it's going to be too easy. But it, it looks like it's something that we ought to do. So guess what? I'm so excited to let you know this weekend is going to be packed with so much work. So much work. Friday and Saturday, 15th and 16th, I will be at Navy Pier. I'm going to be part of the Light of the Lake uh, special events at Navy Pier. And I'm going to be there inside of the corridor uh, offering to your readings. I'm going to be offering my art prints for sale. And I'm also going to have gift certificates. So if you want to come to Navy Pier and buy some gift certificates or get your reading right there and then, um, come see me 16, 15 and 16 at Navy Pier from 12 to 8. And on Sunday, the 17th, I will be at the Pinche Pop-Up at Posh, Pilsen Arts Community's house. Uh, Pilsen Art Community House, Community House, and I'm going to be same tarot readings, uh, gift certificates, art, and um, the 17th at night, we are going to have the women's circle. So far, we haven't had any people sign up yet. I hope people sign up for the women's circle. It's going to be online. Um, I understand a lot of people are deeply tied up into holiday preparations but I hope you give yourself a minute to actually rest and take a breathing and ground and you know so you can continue with your holiday uh, preparations and all that so with that said we're gonna take a card from the four agreements let's see which one comes through don't make assumptions. Let your life, let your life be transformed. Look at this beautiful card. Is the caterpillar becoming a butterfly? And the message is, when you stop making assumptions, your world becomes impeccable, and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because spirit moves freely through you. So let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because spirit moves freely through you. Okay, I feel the urge to read it again. 
When you stop making assumptions, your world becomes impeccable and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life that you need. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because spirit moves freely through you. That is the first oracle. And as I was telling you earlier, I'm going to use the Yuletide Tarot once again as an oracle because it's really cool. Uh, whether you use it as a tarot reading tool, you know, to, to do full tarot readings. But I love the way the booklet is designed because it can be used as an oracle and if you listen to the show tonight or you watch the video uh you can hear me hunna hollering about the tarot because i really like the deck i really like the work of christopher hughes he's an excellent human and a dear friend of mine uh, but regardless of that i really like his work i mean the fact that we became friends is like after the fact but his work is really fantastic so i really like uh how the book was laid out and it gives you the opportunity to use it as an oracle. Mm. After all, tarot decks are indeed oracles as well. Yeah. So let's see what... Oh all, all three readings today it has been like the card on top. I go to where I feel that I'm cold. And all three decks is like the one on top. The one on top. So the one on top is the page of gifts. And it's reverse. So it was a page of gifts and it was reverse. So let's see what the meaning for this is. And I appreciate so much that Christopher put um, reverse meanings as well. Okay, king, queen, or knight, page. The pages are at the end. Okay, the page of gifts is the last one. Okay, page of gifts. Where do you go? Uh, reverse meaning. That is exactly what came up and is exactly what uh, we have here in the book. The reverse meaning of the page of gifts. I'm going to read exactly how it is written on this book. The epitome of laziness and stagnation. They have become bored to the point of being stupid with their decisions and are prone to taking uncalculated risks. Rather than use their talents and abilities to see a way out, they shout from a corner as if the world has turned against them. Boy, oh boy, isn't this amazing. So the page of gifts says... The page of gifts is not ignoring the gifts around her. She is just engrossed in her studies and often needs steering away from them. This is the face of the devoted individual who is hardworking and determined to be the best version of themselves um, they can be. They are inwardly directed and focused on education and progression on the self. That is when the card is right side up, by the way. Um, they have a tendency to be obsessed and will be the person who is still in the office hours after everyone has left. Um, they demonstrate a maturity that believes their age, that belies their age, are often found in libraries and tend to be cerebral and scholarly. This is gentle, easygoing individual who, besides being stuck in a book most of the time, makes a good and supportive friend. So that is the meaning um right side up right however we have the card upside down we have the card reverse so the reverse meaning it's saying the epitome of laziness and stagnation they have become bored to the point of being stupid with their decisions and are prone to taking uncalculated risks rather than use their talents and abilities to see a way out they shout from a corner as if the world has turned against them. So, quite interesting, all the cards that we have today. So, we have, right, uh, open to speak, try to bring conflict resolution on one hand, 
On the other hand, we were told don't make assumptions, right? Try to speak. But then they're telling us <laughs> uh, there might be some stagnation there. So I don't think it's necessarily mixed signals. I think it's telling us again, which was very similar to the message last week. Um, there are things that ought to be spoken about and talked about and find a resolution. And then there are things that are not ready to be spoken about. And, and so it is. Hi, Gabby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Sandy. Sandia, welcome. Uh, so those are the messages for this week. And I think, again, it's not necessarily that one message cancels the other. Is that every person, place, and situation has to be treated, you know. <laughs> Sad uh, mystic. I love that you say, it is what it is. Yep. Sometimes you ought to talk and sometimes you ought to just let things be what they are i like to thank you everybody for being here don't forget uh friday and saturday i will be at navy pier come see me please uh sunday i will be at the pincher pop-up at the pilsen arts community house and then sunday night we will have the women's circle and i really hope that people start signing up for the women's circle because otherwise we're gonna have to postpone it um, and I know you're all busy, but please give yourself a gift of a pause in, to this busy, crazy holiday so that we can, you know, go into the actual end of the year cool and collected. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And um, thank you, everybody. I want to give a shout out to uh, the people who joined me through the classes uh, spell series that I did on 2023 it came to an end last night and 2024 classes are they have been determined it's going to be uh the colonizing the goddess series and we're going to be talking about the mythology behind the aztec goddesses and i'm very excited about that and those classes are going to begin on january the first one will be on january 14th and like always the classes are 25 dollars the Women's circles is a sliding scale between 13, 20, and 26. So if you want to be part of this sessions, please follow my link tree so you can be um, receiving notifications when new events are put out there. So thank you all for watching, and I hope this illness on my hand really goes away. Um, Decorvain stenosynovitis, decorvain stenosynovitis, decorvain stenosynovitis. Say it fast. It's a whole mouthful. Um, and my hand still hurts a lot sometimes, but it's getting better. So thank you all for watching. <clears throat> Until we meet again, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.